in the middle of a playoff race and they lose to the league's second worst team. I wouldn't feel too bad. I mean, no one was there to see it. Boom! You ready? Funny game. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Oh, uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring them on. Beautiful. Leafs win 2-1 to one in overtime. And with the playoffs basically out of reach for the Leafs, these guys are just playing spoilers all over the place. More spoilers than an auto body shot. And about half as expensive. Didn't start out too well, though. Zach Bogosian scoring a power play goal about halfway through the first to put the Thrashers up 1-0. And there was a lot of talk heading into this game about 19-year-old Zach Bogosian playing on the same team as 48-year-old Chris Chelios. To give you an idea of just how old that is in the NHL, the average age of the Leafs is 26.7 which means Chelios is just about old enough to remember the Leafs winning the cup and the average age of the Leaf is just old enough to remember Wendell Clark getting drafted in fact they probably don't even remember it but they were alive baby's first words Wendell Clark but anyway just over a minute after Bogosian makes it one nothing Atlanta Phil the thrill says chill I got skill and he ties the game scoring his 29th goal of the season just one shy of 30 and a lot of people talk about Kessel being you know a bit of a disappointment not really living up to expectations well he got 30 36 goals last year and he's probably gonna score over 30 this year in a season that was shortened because of shoulder surgery going from the best team in the eastern conference to eh. so yeah phil's got some things to work on and there are times where it looks like he really needs a training camp but at the same time he's been great and if it weren't for that stupid goal post he probably would have had like a hat trick last night and while i was watching the game and he was hitting those posts i was thinking to myself is he really cranking the post or is it just echoing so loudly because no one's there? And then neither team scored in the second or third period. If there were any casual fans there, they probably fell asleep. In fact, they're probably still there. Someone go wake them up. But hey, exciting, the game goes to overtime. And I feel bad for the people that I intern with at Leafs TV. They've gotta hate me because almost every time I'm there, the Leafs take the game to overtime. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I'm gonna be a little late tonight. The game's gonna go to overtime because Dangles in. He's the kid with the, he does the hat thing. Are you talking about me? But shortly after Ron Wilson says, you know what, this guy's not having a very good game. Mikhail Grabowski heads to the net. Jan Phaneuf shoots it. Mikhail Grabowski with the textbook tip into the net and the Leafs win it in overtime. And that really would have been a nice win for Atlanta to pick up because Boston lost, but they only gained the one point on him. And a big part of the Leafs winning, the monster. This was Jonas Gustafsson's sixth straight win. He hasn't lost in a Leaf uniform since February 5th. He's led in 12 goals in six games for a goals against average of less than two over that span because four of those games went to overtime. Over these six games he stopped 147 out of 159 shots for a .924 save percentage, improving his season's record and actually his career record to 14, 13, and 8. Do not adjust your screen, there is a Leaf goalie with a record above 500. A rookie playing his first season in North America, on the league's second worst team, in the midst of two minor heart operations. Hey, did you hear Burke doesn't like Europeans? Now the Leafs head back to the ACC where they're going to take on the New York Rangers. And people are already making a fuss over, ooh, Dion Phaneuf's going to be playing against Sean Avery. Which is kind of untrue, because Dion Phaneuf plays against the other team's best players. But I just hope the Leafs are careful, because Avery's into playing all these mind games and chirping around, and this is the youngest team in the league. They could get sidetracked by all that. That or Colton Orr will turn him into a crater. We'll just have to see what happens on the weekend. Peace, guys.